Hello everyone, welcome back. This is now part 7 uh, of my Dragon's Dogma run. And uh, once again I've realized that I forgot to... to link my uh, stream on Twitter. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that really quick. Please bear with me. But actually let's just get into the game first. Load that up. So the last time we explored and did the catacombs mission, the cult uh, fought a easy to while away hours pretty to tough ogre. I want to say I keep on calling it a troll, but I think I think it's an ogre. Mm. Back at Grand Soren now. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, it's Caxton. What does he have to say? Hail, friend. Been some time. Trust you've been well. But come, if it was idle twittering you'd want it, you'd have sought a prettier bird than this old crow. Crows bring tidings, most oft grim. I bring you work. <laughs> Still grim, I'm afraid. Well, sure. salvation again, naturally. Okay. Now there's word they have a man inside the castle. If that be true, he'll have need to leave the castle eventually to meet with the others. All I ask is that you keep watch. If you see someone leaving the castle, shadow them. I only have need of your eyes. Follow them and see what business has them out. I'll do the rest. Skulking about is more my line than yours, I know. But pray. Lay your chivalry aside this once. I do it myself, but there's aught has me away from Grand Sorin for a time. Nothing for it, I fear. Tell your findings to the innkeep. We have an to our smith. Tread carefully. He said friend, innkeep though. And quiet. Alright, so I've got to stalk someone. Uh okay. Just give me a moment. While I do this tweeting business, it takes me half an hour to send a tweet. I am an expert in social media. So I wonder how many more missions are there just available around for me to find. Uh, I think I have two, two quests. Okay, Seeking Salvation. Oh, I gotta hand in that quest, okay. Chasing Shadows. So let's hand in this the, the mission that I completed yesterday. And how do we get back to that? How do we get to the castle? Okay, let's go this way. And I I did uh, do some upkeep um, off stream. I took a look at my armor and just put on some different stuff as you can see here. <laughs> I made my guy kind of chubby. Uh, you can kind of notice it when you look at him this way. Yep, and Jerry has a diff different armor as well. It's not amazing armor, but it's just a little bit better than what I had last stream. What do you have to say? Many friends remain at the abbey I left in the west. In it the will west. Take more than a dragon to scare them off, or me from this place. There's an abbey in the west. Treasure. 
skeleton key. Very useful. So off stream I did a bit of crafting, I did I took a look at my skills and my armor and inventory, all of that stuff I I did that off stream because you know it's not that interesting. We want to get on with the you know, the real stuff, the missions and the combat when I'm streaming. Then the gatherings of salvation did have sinister purpose. Hmm. Tis a grave shame the Elysian slipped our snare. The Elysian? We shall redouble our vigilance here to keep the city safe. I fear you are as like a target as Grand Soren, though. Pray, be wary, Arisen. For now, I leave you with my thanks. So this guy has it will be my a number of missions the the is yours. to do. You only need to do two of them, I've completed one, to move on to the next uh, main part of the story, to progress. So let's not do one now, let's not do another one, and instead Give the word. just see what other missions there are to do. What is it? I shall thank you not to approach me so brazenly. Tis a wide gulf of class stands between us. You would do well to remember that. Jeez. We'd best prepare ourselves for what air is to come next, Arisen. <laughs> that guy's huge. Uh, okay. We're just gonna quickly look around for something to do. Any side quests? Closed door? Okay. Grand Soren Cathedral. And there's nothing else to do here. I like to think of these guys running around as messengers. They have to um they have to go up and down the the levels of, of this town and city <laughs> to pass messages on. <laughs> they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have Twitter. I think what I'd like to do, uh, let's just double check my quests again. Chasing shadows, sneaking out at the castle at night, wait in the noble quarter and tell them. Okay, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, see this? When they're red, it means I can't do them. Uh, I've done this many quests, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, okay, so if they're still here, that means I can still complete these quests, include, including Troublesome Tome. But that's way back in the first town. And the whole, the whole Valmiro thing. To the Witchwood, so that might be something we can do. But let's do the Chasing Shadows. Okay, so I think we gotta pass the time into night, so we're gonna sleep at the inn. No surprise. I fear you stop at your pick. In you? What will it be today? Understood. And then make it back to the noble quarter. Doesn't seem like anyone's taken my pawn since uh, the last time I checked. Uh, we'll check that notice board later. Now let's. Oh, the lighting is really great. I, I've mentioned that several times, but I just really like that. Okay. Speaking of lighting, should I turn on mine? I'm supposed to be tailing uh, someone, so maybe not. Gotta be stealthy. Wait. 
I wonder if I have to... Okay. Well, the cutscene's gonna play. What's this guy's name? Julian or something? So he was the one... Um... In the tombs that we were in. He was wearing a funky mask. Okay, so we're gonna tell this guy. Let's follow him. Don't want to get too close. We'll wait till he comes around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Obviously, I don't want to get too close. Okay, he went down this way. <laughs> Has to load this? <laughs> This music is reminding me of Twin Peaks, <laughs> for some reason, like the ominous keyboards, I guess. <laughs> Are these drunks fighting? <laughs> That's great. Break it up, you two. gonna go down. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot where this guy's going, so I'm interested to see. Keep your eyes on our quarry. So he's over there. And I really haven't explored around the city all too much. Like on the roofs, I'm sure there's items and stuff. Oh, <laughs> see the AI stops if I've gone a little too far. Or his scripting, oh, <laughs> it almost looked like he turned around. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to talk to um, Meredith? I think I can listen in on this conversation. That's a cool shield. Good work. Anything else I might work on, please? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Step off. I bid you a good day.
Sneaky, sneaky. Let us tell the innkeeper what, what we've seen. What business could Madeline have with that knight? And in secret, what's more? Let's see if I can talk to talk to Madeline. Hello. For myself, I aim to put down roots in a shop of my own. Many fled the dragon, never to return. So good land is both plentiful and cheap. You'll find not but the finest. Nothing really related to what just happened. Da, da, da. All of this stuff is pretty useful, but I would say I don't really need them right now. All of this stuff is good for bosses. I, yeah. Uh, hmm. Magic crutch. Magician. Magian crutch. Huh. I'm just wondering if any of this stuff is better than what I currently have. Blue long kilt. Um, let's see, where do I turn in this mission? Quests. Okay. Go to the tavern. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. This place looks pretty cool at night. right here. Uh, I think it's right here. Oh, this guy isn't the tavern master. This guy is. Oh, it's you. Mason told me to expect you. If you have a message, I could relay it. The night then, is it? Fine then. I'll pass the word along. Cha-ching! This must be an alehouse. We've done our part. The rest falls to Mason and his accomplices. We've done our part. The rest falls to Mason and his accomplices. All right, so it's time. It's time to go out into the night. <laughs> I've I've been saying I want to do that, and I haven't as of yet. After all these sessions, so let's just do it. Save and continue. Let's just see what what we can find. And we'll kind of explore this general area. Um, you humans yeah. certainly do make a lot of expressions. I'd like to queue up a lot more quests. Again, that might be something I do off screen, off stream. So maybe this time around, just for an hour or so, what I'd like to do is just um, explore this general area. <gasps> what? Oh my God! This music's so alarming. goblin attack. Oh, and I just realized I should put on my lantern. So let's do that. This is nighttime, obviously. Trying not to attack the, um... Uh, we handle them all? Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh, it's the griffin. Oh, is that why the music is all crazy? Let's hit him, let's get him. Ooh, he can cast lightning. Okay, okay, okay. Just remember to stay away. Wow, this is, I did not expect this to happen. And uh, that's something that makes this game really unique is yeah, the unexpected can happen like that. I think he's just gonna fly away, this griffin. I don't think he's gonna come back around. But this then becomes the start of another mission to fight the griffin. And he kinda went north, I'd say. Wow. So 
Any drops? Wormwood sap. Hunk of ore. Oh, there's still some. Come here. Ah, you little piece of crap. Oh, I don't mean to hit them. I guess that's it. Did he just kill that? Well, I'll take the beat. I didn't mean to kill it uh, to start fighting that thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Undead, undead. Where? Right here? So I changed out my moves, my skills this time around. Let's just head up this this path. Where are the fights? Okay. Where? Must keep working. Yeah, these guys are not too tough, and they're uh, immune to, as I, as I mentioned before, they're immune to knockback and launchers. It seems. There, master, the undead. That's a new move that I have, but it's not effective against zombies. And neither is this either. Implicate. Oh, it is. Okay, good. I also have a uh, Cloudburst Volley. This is really cool. I like that. I took out a uh, hundred kisses, which is the move where it's, it's just like a, a multi-hit combo attack uh, in rapid succession. So, this move, Implicate, it looks like this. It's kind of hard to see, but he, he throws a couple of wires out. And then they attach to enemies, and then you drag them towards you. And it brings them to the ground. So, that's a pretty decent crowd control move. I've been waiting for the ghosts, but the ghosts haven't come. And we're handling these guys pretty pretty well. Oh wow. I'm trying to figure out. Uh Okay, that worked. So that's a combo of two skills. Implicate and once um once they get dragged to you, you use advanced trigger, which is this. It's like a a launcher type move. And then you hit you hit the advanced trigger again, and it throws it throws an explosive. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, so so they're pretty weak. pretty crazy to think that um, as far as like how realistic this city goes just past the just past the walls the <laughs> the world is just super messed up and harsh okay so we're going to take a safety heal just to oh I got hit badly and someone's dead Draco's dead these guys are tough. I think I might back back down from this fight. Wow, Draco. Get up, man. Ooh. 
Dead, okay. Let's pick up Draco. That's one down at least. See, that was pretty sweet right there. Let's try it again. Just got one that time. I love it. I absolutely love it. How many more are left? Uh, one thing I need to do is actually... Yeah, so that's pretty sweet right there. Okay, so one thing I need to do is get... Um, give some healing items to both of my teammates here so that they can take care of themselves a little bit at least. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do when we get back to town. I think they're smart enough to know to heal. I'm actually not sure. Collapsed meeting room. Let's see what we got here. I'm not expecting anything great. Stone, pretty stone. Kindling. Uh, a great event I'll take that. Your drawn. <laughs> it could be that this is the ruins of an old. of an older castle fortification and Grand Soren is all that remains. Because, um, yeah, it, it does seem to follow a kind of, uh, a, a, like a ring pattern. And it makes me w wonder if perhaps in a sequel, you know, maybe Grand Soren will be the ruins and, um, and a, a new civilization will be built on top. That would be kind of cool. Games like Dark Souls does it. it that game does it too. Anything up here? Oh, I can't jump that high. Oh. Okay, great. What's in here? Fairy hood, I might have that already. I don't think I can jump down safely. And it's already, um, the sun's already rising. So the night wasn't too bad. I still wouldn't recommend traveling out around at night. If you can help it. Let's put away my torch. Now I believe there are some Saurians here. We can give us we can try and fight them. Oh, I hear them. Uh, when I say help, will they and handle in that range. At least some. Woo! These guys look sweet. Love their design. In Warhammer, uh, the tabletop game, I'm painting a Saurian, <laughs> not a Saurian, uh, a Seraphon army. Or they used to be called, they just used to be called Lizard Men. So, 
I always like seeing lizard men type enemies in games. Another one? Where? Sorry and scale. See that over there? That's where the griffin went. I wonder if they'll uh they'll give me that quest once I get back to the city and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to Grand Soren. This entrance here will take us uh, to the fields of Grand Soren. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned before, certain things in this game I intend to do off stream. Uh, generally speaking, the boring stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, there's there are a few podcasters. Uh, I'm thinking of the formerly Two Best Friends podcast, Super Best Friends podcast. They've talked about Dragon's Dogma before, and Wooly and and the other guys. They've they've mentioned that they like the game Pat, but that it wasn't stream friendly. And uh, as someone who, uh, up until now, has never streamed, I always wondered why. You know, why is it not stream-friendly? I mean, you like the game, don't you? So, so why would it not be stream-friendly? And I think that has to do with how much downtime there is. Um, yeah, like, you're going to be sorting through loot and equipment. You're going to be looking at your statistics, or, or rather your skills. Uh... You're going to be crafting, you're going to be just wandering around, walking. Um, you're going to be looking for quests, looking for things to do. There's a lot of downtime. Uh, and I think stuff like that, I, I see now how that might not be very stream friendly. It's kind of, it's just kind of boring. However, just from a gameplay standpoint, like, if you are just a gamer, not a streamer, uh, to me, some of those things are actually a strength. Like, um, it, it's yes, it's downtime. It could be interpreted as boring, but to me, um, stuff like that helps me feel like I'm really into the game, you know. And I've mentioned this before, but just just the idea of preparation, preparation. Uh, before doing a mission preparation to because you know that like there's going to be danger up ahead mm, avoiding nighttime all of that stuff uh, it really makes you feel like you're you're immersed in the game but yeah um, I will be trying different things uh, like like avoiding Avoiding um, talking too much and all of that. So Bacon beer can. Stolen. It's hard to find a balance between showing gameplay and prep time and reading. Yeah, so no, stuff no. like that. A lot of prep time. I will be. I will be doing off stream. And any kind of wandering around randomly. I'm. Uh, that is a part of the game, so I will be doing that. But. Uh, it's going to be a mix. Some of it I'll do off stream as well. So, for example, right now, <laughs> I'm not even entirely sure what I should be doing. Uh, let's look at my quests. Whoops! I'm pressing all sorts of crazy buttons. I'm I'm not actually I don't remember the button layout of this game. Uh, track down Valmiro. Valmiro headed to the Witchwood, but for what purpose? Make for the forest, ensure the fisherman's safety. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. That's That'll be a sizable... I think that's a decent chunk of time. I kind of know where to go for that. We can do that, and then we'll take it from there. I'm not really sure how long I'm going to stream right now. Uh, let's see. Bacon beer can. I think wandering is fine, especially if it's your first playthrough. Yeah, I mean, this isn't my first playthrough. Um... It's kind of like a half and half run because I've forgotten quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just kind of aware of what's what's gonna take 
a long time, so I know how to like budget my time in this game, I guess. Uh, do you have something to do? We don't deal in the like of we're in on oi, them take all the time you like. Okay. Do come again. Okay, so what we are going to do, we're gonna buy some healing items from this lady. We don't we're in oi, them take all the time. Buy. Uh not the good stuff. I'll buy some of the good stuff. Okay, and some of this. Let's just make it 50. Bacon, but spending time reading game menus or even story is a bit awkward. Yeah, yeah. Take all the time. Do come. I think. Uh, I think the thing for me is like, I. I will talk to various characters, I'll watch the cinemas, and in the back of my mind I'm like, mm, is someone going to find this interesting, is someone going to find this boring, uh, am I even paying attention t to it myself, uh, especially in a streaming type situation, look at this creep, what are you trying to look at, just go inside, so it was stolen. oh okay, no, I have to tell no. this guy something, it is good news, this saves me from dredging the river in vain, you are quite the wonder, to have learned so much so quickly, sir. Uh, okay. Alright. So let us give some of this stuff to my party members. Uh, wait. Uh -huh. So let's give five, let's give eight to her. And then let's give some to Draco. Okay, that should be good enough. And we're gonna rest. Uh, I'm not, it's overcast today, it seems. So I'm not sure if it's early morning or what. But just for safety, we're going to rest in the daytime and then head back to the forest. Or I haven't been to the forest, so we're gonna explore a little bit and try and get make our way to the forest to do a side quest which should be still available to me because I've run into issues already of some quests closing let's see let's quickly take a look at this scouting mission escort and escort I do not want to do escort missions right now so we'll just avoid that okay so let's queue up that quest Mm, dying Curiosity Valmiro set as priority. Few on the map uh, that wants us to leave the map. Close the list. Area. Uh, zoom out. Can I zoom out further? No. Mm. Whoa. Where is this forest? What? Did I not queue up this quest? Make for the forest and ensure the fisherman's safety. Set as priority, huh? Weird. Well, let's go outside. This quest shouldn't be closed to me. But it seems like it might be. I'm not sure. Or that it's not showing on the map because I haven't explored that area yet, perhaps? Map. Uh, ooh. Interesting. Quests. Interesting. Uh, close list. Set waypoint. Now, I believe that the forest is going to be somewhere, if my memory is correct, somewhere here. Okay, so let's set a waypoint for here. Here. Can I zoom in? 
uh, right here. And then, yeah, I want to make it down this path. So we're going to venture yet again back to the Way Castle and then not quite to the encampment. And this is a no eternal fairy stone run, so uh, there's I'm, I won't be using warping at all, at least not the infinite version. Because to me, all this game is all about traveling, traveling with your bros, <laughs> and using oh crap, stamina. That was something I was looking into before playing just now. Was uh, how to better, how to improve my stamina? Because in this game, you can't when you level up, you do not choose what stats to to increase. That is all handled. I missed. That's all handled automatically. That is such a great combo. Although it does take a lot of um, stamina. I'm trying to use uh, my stamina sparingly in combat because there's a big punishment for if you if you go to if you run out completely. Let's hit this guy. That's very satisfying. And another one. Okay. So this is a shortcut. <laughs> it's not the shortcut. Oh my god. Is it not? I thought it was. Uh, ba, ba, ba. That is the shortcut. <laughs> it looks almost the same. Okay. I'm gonna walk for a bit just to refill my stamina. This path runs the canyon floor. However, the Strider class that I'm playing now, as well as the Ranger class, which is the the elite in version, those two classes increase your stats, your dexterity stat, or rather the, your endurance. Uh, sorry, the, um, <laughs> I'm trying to talk here while fighting. The stamina stat, the most out of all the the class types compared to the mages or the uh, brawler types. Okay. Because as I was trying to say, depending on your class, when you level up, your class determines what points go into what category automatically. So obviously, uh, strength would be for the, uh, you know, a more fighter type builds such as uh, Draco here and that's all automatically done and you might think that's very limiting in terms of the thing of the build you can make however in this game you can change your class freely uh, so you're not really ever committed to any particular stat, uh, build, rather. You know what, let's just avoid these people. Get out. I don't care about you. So here's the way castle. This way castle acts as kind of like the halfway point. So my guys are... I don't even know what they're doing, but whatever. Ah, okay, there following. I really thought you could rest here. I really did. But there would have to be a cot or a bed or something. Which I don't see. Huh, that's so weird. Anyways. We're making our path, our way down this path. Ah. They just realized something. Let's take a look at... Okay, we're almost at waypoint one. There's a website, actually. Uh, I'm not too sure how well-known it is. 
well, there's a magazine. First of all, there's a magazine called Vice. It's a magazine that deals with fashion and uh, youth culture. I don't really know what to call it. Vice magazine. I used to, I used to read it. Um, and recently, they in recent years, Vice magazine started a website that dealt with video games. And they called themselves Waypoint. Waypoint Magazine or Waypoint the website. And they hired a lot of great writers. People from people from Giant Bomb, people from like mm, just good writers who are very thoughtful about the medium of video games. Um, And the reason why they called themselves Waypoint was because of Dragon's Dogma, believe it or not. Because, um, now I don't remember, Austin Walker was or is the uh, head writer or director of, of uh, Waypoint. I don't remember the ex exact specifics as to why he was going to call it Waypoint and why it was based off of um, Dragon's Dogma. That's all I know is that it was... Dragon's Dogma. But it had something to do with like that feeling of of making progress. To find it to to mark a point on the map and say that's where I'm heading, that's where I'm going, and then trying to get there. And that was in some ways reflective of, of what they intended to do with the magazine, I guess. Or rather the website. Um, I haven't read all too many articles of the web at the website, mm, and in fact, I think they may have changed their name since just to Vice, Vice, Vice Gaming, because uh, at the end of the day, that was a more recognizable brand compared to being called Waypoint. But uh, I did think that was interesting at the time. Am I being ambushed? I don't think so. Okay, so here we are. Let's be sure uh, we want to go this know. way, I believe. I trying to make it to the forest. This is a shortcut into the mines. Or this... Um, yeah, the mine. <laughs> they don't like fire. I do. With this skill, I'm a, I do have like a fire attack now. I don't have to rely on um. Oh, that was pretty neat. My normal combo has a knockback, so I knock them back and then I I uh, use the grapnel to to make them come back to me and continue the combo. I okay. grabbed one because you only have a limited amount of slots for skills I uh, I don't have my advancing move my pursuit move <clears throat> biting wind I don't like that they make that sound like a yelping dog like a whining dog it's kind of sad At some point, I'll have to um, look at my equipment and give some of the heavier items. Look at that boulder. That is not a trap at all. It's super safe to just go straight on ahead. Don't mind that big boulder. Oops, never mind. Plus two small boulders. I think it'll be fine to just hide here. Please do not get hit, you dummies. Okay. Okay. Great. And I want to be... Conscious of my um, stamina. Let's see if I can snipe this guy. He's just asking for it. Oh! One more time. Oh my gosh, one more time. Right here, right here. <laughs> Sick em, boys! Okay, okay. Want another taste? Careful with my stamina. Great, we grabbed him. Nice, nice, nice. 
Big smash from Draco. Lot of yell. Okay. I really wish I had my, um, my pursuit move. Because one button, one of my, uh, slots... Ah! Oh no! One of my slots is, uh, the reset button. I think that's what they call it. Which is just a cancel. A, a button to cancel my moves. And I just really think that's interesting even though I haven't been using it recently. Uh, I would like to spend some time uh, in the lab, so to speak. Just trying out different things. I have done that off-stream a bit. However, yeah, this game doesn't actually have a lab, like a training mode, although that would be kind of fun. Even Devil May Cry, the latest Devil May Cry has something like that. I think that's great. Oh my gosh, I'm out of stamina. Get up, get up! Oh, oh, oh no! You really don't want to be left high and dry like that. I've been enchanted with fire, so my attacks are stronger. Whew, there's some, a lot of... A lot of these guys. Let's try this. I missed. <laughs> One more. Okay, if you if you come to this area and you're under leveled, it can be a huge grind. It can be very very bad. And in fact, this game does set you up to come here much earlier than I am now, and it would have been a big headache. Like it's possible, but it would be it would be a struggle, quite frankly. We got two for that. That was good. I like that Draco is just doing this grapple. This is like the most useful thing. So one thing I like to do is do a combo and then um use reset, which is the cancel, to roll out. Normally you wouldn't be able to do that. Because in this move in this game you cannot your moves are you are committed to your moves. You have to sort of follow through with them. At least for a good amount of the animation. Prior to getting the reset, I have been doing um I've been using jump canceling, which is a it's a devil may cry thing. Okay, that didn't reach. So having a pursuit move would have been useful against these guys because they're so scrambly. Oh my god. They're so fast. Oh! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. We're still okay on health. I'm pretty sure I'm heading the right direction into the forest. You can see it's getting a lot mistier. The forest is this misty region of the map. And I'm actually not going to go too far into the forest. I just want to see if the mission... The mission... A side quest. Okay, Valmiro, where is he? <sighs> this guy's pathetic. Yet again. Yet again. Please, God. I need herbs. Three herbs. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have three. The 
thousand apologies, Cuz. Somehow, you always end up bearing my burden. I considered myself well equipped this time, truly. But my stores were heavy, the monster was quick of foot, and I lacked the everyday sense to avoid such a mess in the first place. In the future, I shall confine my explorations to the village proper. <laughs> These wanderings of mine lead only to trouble. I'll straight away to home, and no delay. You have my word on this. So he's just gonna live the rest of his life in the first village. Uh, I don't know, is that the right lesson to take? <laughs> I think instead he should continue to try and explore and go outside of the village, just be better prepared. Right? Or don't go alone. Don't be a dumbass. How about that? <laughs> you know? Now he's gonna be a wimp for the rest of his life and stay in the the main village forever. Oh, there's a rabbit, by the way. This is a no <laughs> This is a no rabbit kill run. I've actually killed a handful of rabbits already, and every time I've said that it's a no rabbit kill run, so I just wanna make that clear. It's the most challenging type of run for this game. I see boar. I haven't decided if this is a no boar kill run. They probably taste really good. But for now, we'll just leave them alone. I don't even think there's a side quest that involves like killing boar, so... Kill them? The boars? Uh, you know? That's... it's. Uh, I will not give in to peer pressure. <laughs> so... We'll see, we'll see. But definitely the rabbits. The ox, also, this is a no ox kill run. You can, I am allowed to pick up the rabbits in a uh, no kill rabbit run. Where are they? I saw one. Wolves, wolves are definitely allowed. I've killed several. And also if a, if a rabbit, um, just happens to get in the way while I'm attacking. You know, that's not my fault. Now, I'm exploring this region here, but I really don't want to get too far into it because it's actually super easy to get lost here. Not as bad as the the forest in Darks uh in Bloodborne. That was That was crazy. And if I were to play Bloodborne again, I would probably get lost in that forest all over again. <laughs> Not as bad as that, but I don't have a quest here right now, so I don't really need to be here. And we'll just save the exploration of this area for another time. It's actually pretty cool, the, um, the places that are here and some of the lore that's here. But we will wait until a quest until a quest takes us here. It's a nice waterfall. I wonder if there's treasure behind the waterfall. That's a thing in every single game ever. So let's just take a quick look. Uh, no. I just got wet. Too late for that. What's this? I hope I'm going the right way. Yes. Okay. Treat every shadow as though a monster lurks within. So that's one side quest down. Good. I think... Hmm. More wolves, eh? I heard wolves hunt in packs. Come here. So this 
This class really have heavily relies on your movement to avoid damage instead of just tanking hits and you know using a shield. And I'm not really sure if uh, for the entirety of the game will I stick to this um, class and the uh, and the future upgraded version of this class. I might experiment with with a warrior and using a shield later on. That's the nice thing about this game is that yeah you can change your classes quite freely with mm, no penalty really. And in fact it, it's probably best that you do just dabble a little bit in other classes because you can gain their passive skills and then, uh, and then take those skills into a different class. Uh, other games do that too, so you know the deal. How that could something like that could be useful. Make sure I keep my stamina. Oh, looks like there's something up there. Treasure. I don't think there's anything else for me to do in this region. I'll check my map in a second and see. I think, okay, we'll check my map. Uh, sorry, my quest log. Dying of curiosity. Head back to the village. Okay, so I definitely have to go back to the main village. That's fine. We're close enough. So we'll do that. Maybe take a quick look and see if there's anything else to do there. I don't think so. Uh, my stamina. See, my buddy there uh, touched my shoulder and that gave me a little boost in stamina. And that's good to have in the, in the middle of a fight as well. But generally you don't want to be caught catching your breath like that in the middle of a fight. That would be bad news. And I think once I get back to town, oh, <laughs> I double jump back to the ledge. Once I get back to town and cash in that mission, I will take a little break and go on for a little longer. Some goblins, let's see if I can give them a little cloud burst. Let's give them another one. back to Cassardis. There's a rabbit. Let's see? This is the only thing that's allowed in a no rabbit kill run. Pick them up like that. But they want to be let go, so we'll do that. The one rabbit that I did kill by accident, I uh, threw it back into the ocean. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Burial at sea. Who do I need to talk to? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can anyone hear me? Pray come and help! Say what? Okay, I actually know what that is. Well, let's ignore that for a second. <laughs> hey, this guy. I've been at my wandering a year now. Around, seems something's lost or loath to be found. No mind. Now, let us talk a this guy might sell some interesting stuff. Let's see. This is a traveling merchant, and it's possible that their loot will be good, but actually, no, doesn't seem good. I think. Hmm, strength plus three. Padded armor. Hmm. Funny bone guards. Yeah, this is different 
equipment than what I can normally find from the from the normal merchant. Hmm. Wow, eight thousand. But it looks like it's pretty good. Let's get that for Jerry here. Oh, she can't wear it. Huh. All right, whatever. Now I'm looking to talk to the chieftain. You human, certainly. Admiral, eh? Well, perhaps you. I have to cash this mission in to somebody. Appears this grocer is responsible for the marrow. Yes, a day. I want. I only. I have to talk to somebody to cash in this mission, but I can't find them. this hill you have infinite stamina in town okay. just running around like a madman I wonder if this ever opens up I really can't remember. Pretty sure the person I'm looking for is not on a roof. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on a roof, but uh, I just happen to always get up on roofs. Okay. One could walk most of the village across the rooftops. <laughs> I was just, I was just thinking that. Here's the guy, I'm pretty sure. I am pleased to see Valmiro about, and none the worse for wear, it would seem. He's a wandering spirit. I know it pains him to cause worry, but he can't manage otherwise. In any case, cousin, you have my thanks. Quite successful. Mm, a delicious aroma. Okay. At times, such a heedless drive is a rare and precious thing. At times. I think she's gonna say the same thing. At times, a ah. heedless drive is a rare and precious thing. At times. At times. And I. Okay. So. That just might be one of the last few missions that I can do in this area. There's no one there! <laughs> okay. So this is the plan. <laughs> Does he say more? The plan is I'm going to take a little break. We're at the hour mark. And then when I come back, I'm going to get a new pawn. We'll take out Draco, get a new pawn, and then head back into this well and do the second part of the well mission. And then I might just call it after that. I'm really not too, I don't think the well mission will take too long. Uh, but that'll be that. And then I might play again a little later today. So let's just take a break. In about in about five to ten minutes, I'll be back. All right. Thanks a lot. See you soon.
All right, everyone, we are back. And quite restful to my kind. Quite restful to your kind. That's nice. Good for you. Uh, okay, so we are gonna head back into the well. Uh, before I do that, let's save. Descend. Oh, this guy's right here. Oh, place is fit to set the hairs on your neck to standing on end, huh? <laughs> and with good reason. I thought to enjoy a quiet nip of the old spirits here, away from prying eyes, huh? But then a fearsome rumble came from further yon. Against my better judgment, I went and stole a look. Twas monsters, sure enough. A regular hive of them. Can't let the likes of them loose on the village. I, I like this guy's voice. Here to hold them back. <laughs> Lucky thing I thought to sneak a drink. I'm well glad to see you, truth be told. I fear the beasts are beyond the means of this old man. <laughs> Will you go and clear them out, cousin? My thanks. And good luck to you. Don't leave a one of them alive. The path beyond is convoluted and dangerous. Dear cousin, let this protect you. Take care. Throw blast. Destroy the Saurian nests. Uh, please don't break the oil. Is it possible to... Yeah, I think it's... I think they could have broke that. Um... All right, let's go. Gonna put out the lantern. What do you have to say? Ah, it need to take oil. Okay, let's go. I don't think this is gonna be too challenging. I'm a little over leveled for this area, I think. But we'll see. Rats. I've already been down this. Uh, sewer once before. Okay, that's one of those kill X amount of monsters side quests. I just did that for bats. Rats. I'm sure I'm not getting a lot of XP at all. Hell yeah, kill the bats quest. Kill the bats, kill the rats. Grind it out like South Park and become high level. Um... I can't really keep this lantern dry, as my pawn suggests. Next will be snakes. There are snakes in this very same dungeon, and they actually freaked me out last time I was playing, because cause they kind of just hurl at you out of nowhere. <laughs> we are going to take some stuff from here. Scrap some of this. If you have an explosive spell, you can actually... Actually... Oh, too late. That might work. I'll try that next time. Alright, let's go. We don't have to be too overly cautious uh, this time around. Let's see if we can find the snake. Here, sneaky snake. Right there. <laughs> So, you can kind of see him coming from this side, but when I, when I was, when I came through this door this way, and I walked in, a s snake just jumped at me right there, and I, <laughs> it kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Alright. So, because my character is short, 
his waist um, will not stay above water for very long, meaning that this torch will go out, this lantern will go out, and that means that this fight coming up, let's save actually, oops, ah, that means this fight might be primarily in the dark, really not sure, unless I can kind of take it out into the light, this, this area here, oh, see that? forget about it. Let's just go. Oh, this area was blocked off last time. Oh boy, here they are. It's a bunch of Saurians. So yeah, I, I don't think I can... I'm trying to turn on my lantern. Okay. Now the next step is not to not to get into the water. I think we have to burn these eggs. So the Saurians uh, get weaker once you take off their tails. And again, if, if you do this mission where when they really want you to, which is in the early phase of the game, like practically near the start, this is very hard. This is pretty hard stuff. Uh, but because we are... A little bit over leveled, I'd say maybe three or five levels higher than than the recommended than the recommendation. It's a little more manageable. Whoa! He just shattered. That was cool. But that wasn't the that wasn't the main part of the quest. Here comes the big mama, and she is not happy. Was that big mama? Or is that big mama? Oh, that's big mama. <laughs> okay, chill, 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 you know. Whoa, they are quite large. Let's do, let's do this. Nice, enchanted. Try and make sure I'm not getting in the way. Oh, I lost track of the, the big one. Where's Big Mama? Whoa, running around, scrambling like a madman. Mad woman? Let's just take care of the, the, the minions. Okay, I think all that's left is Big Mama. Oh, I jumped in the water. My bad. I think all that's left to do is destroy this, just destroy these, which is easy since I have uh, an enchanted bow now. And this. Oh, there's some more. Anything else? Trying to look around and see. Oh, I set them on fire, but they didn't actually sustain damage. Okay. Just using advanced trigger. That could be it. Oh, no. Oh. Let's get this. Neat. Ah, there's a lot more than I thought. My attacks are pretty weak. Poison sack. Let's 
Let's just take a quick read of the quest here. As I continue to press the wrong button to open up quests. Uh, delve into the well and purge the Saurian nest deep inside. I... Oh, 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 oh. Set as priority. Okay. Down the well. Purge this. Okay. So, it... It seems like there might be more around. So let's just keep an eye out for that. Uh, oh, 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 bad, 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 bad. So that red mist as I enter further into the water, that's, um, that's what they call the brine. And the brine is just a convenient way for the developers to make sure that you don't go into the water because they haven't made any kind of, like, swimming system or anything like that. Oh, I miss these. These might be... This might be it. Oh. It really helps to... Okay, there we go. Report back to Rorik. And let's uh, get my lantern out again. You actually have to turn off your lantern and then turn it back on. If you are... If you get submerged, you have to kind of do it twice to bring it back. That's kind of weird, but... I believe there's a quick way to do it when you're a Strider class by using cancel. <laughs> That's a lantern canceling tech. Uh, I think we're going this way, and I'm going to get wet again. Now, I've, I've previously explored this area uh, when I was in the well originally, so I don't really need to dawdle here for too much. Well, let's just get this stuff, because it's always good to have some ore. And I'm going to turn in this quest, and then I might stop for now and then play again a little later. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, being new to streaming, I, I just haven't really built up a tolerance to playing long stretches of time. Ideally, I'd like I would like to play uh, for long stretches of time, but I'm just not really used to that right now and in fact I don't really play video games for long stretches of time period I usually play for even like half an hour or 20 minutes at a time and then I go and do something else and then come back 20 minutes and then, you know little bite-sized gameplay sessions uh, that's why having a switch is good for that reason even though uh, the switch itself I haven't been playing it all too much uh, whoops snakes see Bastards. So, uh, you know. Instead, what I'm trying to do is just spread out my sessions uh, throughout the day, I guess. I guess that's what I'll do for now. Now, let's get out my torch. Try and remember how to get the heck out of here. Maybe it's up here. Uh, no. It's definitely this way, then. Definitely this way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just really looking forward to seeing what like a part two might look like because uh, I've mentioned this before, but I just really like the lighting in this game, the way the shadows work, and how like it's this nice orangey glow and the shadows that are cast, and then further away you can see how it's like dark and blue. Like, that's just really good, good stuff, and uh, I think a sequel is going to look really great. Bats! And yeah, you know you're in a starter area when there's bats. <laughs> you know you're, you're, you're in like a starter zone when you fight bats and, uh, and rats. <laughs> Turn this in. Hmm? The beasts are slain then? Ha! <laughs> Joyful news! Joyful I news! Will sleep easier, not having their like crawling about below the village. Racist. Here, it is a small token of thanks. Take. <sighs> now to find another 
spot to steal a quiet drink. <laughs> the Sakai was just looking for a place to drink. <laughs> Whoa! Am I max vocation now? Let's take a look at that. Maybe I am. Oh wait, my pawn has something to say. It's fortunate we stem the threat ere it reached the village. Mm hmm. Time now over here. Okay, so this is. Uh, let's check out my quests. Uh, Dark chorus, ten harpies. Uh, da da. Investigate the thieves. Band of thieves has apparently claimed the tome. Head for their territory in the south of Grancis. Hmm. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, I can do this. I mean, not now, but I might be able to do this mission since I'm actually. In the southern areas, I'm I'm close to it now than I am if I was actually in the hub. So that might be my next mission. Uh, yes, I think I'm supposed to. Hmm. <laughs> actually, what I can do is look at my quests. I have that. I can queue that up, set it as a priority, view on the map. Close a list. Yes. Right here. That's where I need to go. So that'll be the next mission. Since I'm in the region. Uh, because if I were to head back here. You know. It'd be a waste of time having to go. All the way down here again. Right? It's a waste of time. So that'll be the next session. Is exploring this whole region. I haven't really looked into it yet. Uh, I kind of know what to expect. So we'll load up. We'll load up on my equipment and stuff. Everything I need. Take a look at my skills. I might do that all off screen. Uh, off stream. And we'll get ready for that. And there's the thief again. If I get close to him, he's just going to run away. I have no idea what's the deal with this guy. Surprise! Huh? Can I talk to him? Uh, well oh. met, sir. Pray, forgive me for the trouble I caused. I've cast aside thieving, I have. Become an honest man. Apprentice to the innkeep. I owe the man a debt. You as well, if it please you. You show me there's more to life than nursing an empty belly. Oh, good for you. I don't know why he ran away the last time. Hey, good for you, dude. This guy is the thief who you have to chase down. It's like the first mission in the in the in the game, and it's just super dumb and boring. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm going to take a look at my move set because I really haven't as of yet seen what I can do in the game. So light attacks, heavy attacks, yes. And I've mentioned this before, but this is like the juicy stuff. Reset. Which looks like I farted, look. Fart. <laughs> but the main thing about that move is that I can see these attacks. I can't really cancel out of it. I'm committed. That whole animation, I'm committed. I've been pressing. I can kind of jump cancel a little bit. But for the most part, you're committed. And same thing with heavy attack. And most skills are like that too. Implicate. Uh, if you see me jumping there, I'm trying to cancel it. Implicate is the move where I send out wires and then drag the enemy to the ground. And what I've been doing so far is using implicate and then advanced trigger. Which is this. The uppercut. And then it, uh, it's a launcher that goes into like a, a flame blast. So I drag the guys down, they come to me, I use trigger to uppercut them and then blast them away. And also what's possible is a full light attack combo, which is that. And that last hit it causes knockback and then you can implicate 
to drag them back to you and then hit them with an advanced trigger. Well, all of that takes quite a bit of, of stamina. Uh, previously, I had um, 100 kisses, which is a quick attack combo, even quicker than this. And then I would use reset, the fart move, to, um, to hit them with another 100 kisses. So 100 kisses reset into 100 kisses. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. However, um, it's 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 limited just to this class, uh, the reset attack. I would really like for other classes to have access to that move, but uh, as far as I know, I don't think you can. Uh, also, what's useful is reset is useful for getting out of combat. So, uh, as I said, you are committed to your attacks. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I see. That's a, that's definitely the knockback. Uh, you learn more basic combos, and I'm not even sure if they tell you how to do them. But um, so this so that this attack here is just a straight up mashing of square for four times. But if you do two plus uh, two pause and then another light attack, you do a kick. like that. And I think that causes knockback as well. And I really I wonder how many other combos there are actually. It's all something to look into. You can even use reset in the air. You can see I don't know if you can hear the fart sound. But I was reset. So that's a lot of stuff you can do because uh this class has airborne special attacks as well. But um yeah, so because I don't have a shield, I have to rely on movement to avoid damage, and what I can do is use reset to cancel and then roll. Like that. And some moves uh, really... they really uh, set you in, in that move, like you're committed and having reset available to, to stop it immediately because you can see an attack coming uh, is super useful. I wish there was like a lab or someplace that I could test out more stuff but there isn't. I mean I guess I could test it out on goblins but they die super fast. Dodge. And dodge is a move you have to learn as well. And that's dodge into... <laughs> that's weird eh? Dodge into reset? Like, there's a lot you could do. And maybe even with shooting as well. Kind of, maybe? I don't know. Again, that's all stuff that could be explored with. Uh, but the main point is that it's pretty cool that even for this one class type, there's there's just that much depth, you know? And that's all because Hideaki Atsuno is a director for all those um, Devil May Cry games, so he's got that knowledge base. and. He said in the past that uh, he's he's wanted to make a game like this, Dragon's Dogma, for a very long time, and you can kind of feel it. Like you can feel his interest and in, and his passion for this, all of this stuff that you could do in this game. You can you can really get that sense. Um, I kind of wish Devil May Cry would 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 get into something like this too. Like you know that maybe the next DMC could be uh, an open world game. You could create your own character and and class and all of that and have all sorts of moves that would be really neat um, but yeah uh, he said it was his dream game I hope he gets to make another one uh, for my part this is this is pretty close to my dream game too because you know I would after playing Dungeons and Dragons the arcade game I always thought like man what would this game look like if it was brought into the modern day like if they had a chance to really expand on it and you can actually see some of the DNA of of that Dungeons and Dragons arcade game in this game uh, even down to the goblins like those goblins that uh, that are just outside of town they feel very much like those goblins from from Dungeons and Dragons even down to the way they cackle uh, some of the move sets in this game feel very D&D &D inspired uh, yeah
generally so basically I, I like this game and I think I'll just leave it at that for now uh, the point is I like Dragon's Dogma I'm here to play play it for a very long time this is part six or seven who knows how many parts we're gonna get into this uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed it uh, stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time bye bye that is my bye bye animation and that's also the jump for joy end of stream and I might be on later today so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time